Okay, here we are, early evening at my prairie, at least a piece of my prairie. I don't know what you can see from there. If you see any of these blue flowers, those are called bergamot. Bergamot, and they're in the mint family. These are all prairie flowers. Those cream colored ones back there, if you see them, a little weird looking, they hardly look like flowers. Those are called rattlesnake master and they're in the parsley family. And the reason they have that name is because the uh, Native Americans used the roots of that plant as an antidote towards rattlesnake venom. And uh, way in the back, I don't know if it's visible to you, those tall yellow flowers, those are called compass plants. By August, they'll be almost 10 feet tall uh, and they get their name because of the orientation their leaves take, north, south, east, west orientation. Uh, today's topic here, or this, this topic right now, is modal verbs. I had discussed with you already the fact that, except for nine verbs, all the verbs in German take those same endings. E-S-T-T, E-N, E-E-N-T-E-N. And six of the nine verbs that don't are modal verbs. These aren't action verbs, and they're usually used in conjunction with other verbs. Uh, we have them in English, and we call them the same thing in English. Here's a list of the modal verbs. Dürfen, können, mögen, müssen, sollen, and wollen. Dürfen, können, Mögen, müssen, sollen, and wollen. Dürfen means may or be allowed to. Können means can or be able to. Mögen means to like, used in conjunction with other verbs like the others, like I like to go. Okay, below that we have müssen, must or have to. Sollen, should, and wollen, to want to. In fact, um, and these verbs are sometimes used by themselves, stand alone. Ich muss, I have to. Das kann ich, das kann ich nicht. I, well, <laughs> there's an understood verb there, of course. If you say ich muss, I have to, the listener has to know what it is that you have to. And das kann ich nicht, I can't verb that. It's going to be, I can't do that or whatever verb it might be that the listener knows what it is. And so when these verbs stand alone in the second element position, there's another verb that's understood by the listener but not used. Otherwise, they're used in conjunction with another verb. And like English, that other verb is in its infinitival form. In English, I want to go to the movies. German says the same thing except the word order is different. In German, you would say, I want to the movies to go. The infinitive goes at the end of the sentence. The modal verb is in its conjugated form, second element. Otherwise, it's the exact same thing as in English. Okay? The thing is, the endings are dramatically different from regular verbs. And that's what we want to go through now. They all have weird forms. So if we went through that list again, we would see, for example, dürfen, the present tense is a form of darf. Können, the present tense is a form of kann. Sounds a lot like can, doesn't it? Mögen, the present tense is a form of mag. Müssen, the present tense is a form of muss. The umlaut falls away. Sollen, is the only one that looks the same throughout. It has different endings from the other verbs, but the form is still a form of soll. And wollen, the present tense, is a form of will. The plural, as is the case with all German verbs, except for the verb to be, the plurals are perfectly regular. So we know the plural endings are en, ten, and I'll we'll go through this right now and we'll see how that works. I picked a couple of these as examples, but I'm gonna go through this again. Dürfen, Darf, können, kann, mögen, mag, müssen, muss, sollen, soll, and wollen, will. And here's how they look 
when they're conjugated. Let's just take the verb dürfen. I'm not going to give you all of them because they all follow the same type of pattern. So the present, the, the singular forms are what are grossly or dramatically irregular. It's ich darf. No ending. None of this e, ich darf. Ich darf. Ich darf. Du darfst. Then it's an st. And er darf. In all cases with these modal verbs, the first person ich form and the third person er sie s singular forms are identical. And in all cases, with all the verbs, they take no ending. So we have ich darf, du darfst, er, sie, or es, or mein Bruder, or meine Schwester, or whatever the subject might be, as long as it's singular, darf. And as I said earlier, all plurals are regular, so we have wir dürfen, ihr dürft, and sie dürfen. Let's try another one. Können. Same pattern, same idea. Singular is dramatically different. Ich kann, du kannst, er kann. But just as was the case with dürfen, the ich and the er form are the same. In both cases, they take no ending. Ich kann, du kannst, er kann. And all plurals are regular, except for the verb to be. So we have wir können, ihr könnt, sie können. All right. I have one more sheet here. To show you the again the other forms you'll be exposed to and you'll have to learn Mögen, Mach and such, but I want you to understand the pattern and how they function. <coughs> again, Zolen is the only one that doesn't change in the present. It's ich soll du sollst er soll. I mean in the singular, not in the present. These are all present in the singular. So let's see them in a sentence. Darf ich ins Kino gehen? Right? It's a verb first question, that's why we know it's a question. Verb first, darf ich ins Kino gehen? May I go to the movies? Ich darf ins Kino gehen. I'm allowed to go to the movies. Verb second element, statement. And this is an example because ins Kino means to the movies. You could leave the infinitive off. Remember I gave you those examples. Das kann ich nicht. I can't do that. I can't verb that. Whatever it is. I mean, if I, somebody was to give you something to eat and it was alive, and you say, oh, that's kann ich nicht. Well, the verb at the end is essen. I can't eat that. In this case, it's obvious. I can't to the movies. Well, of course the verb is to go. Ich kann nicht ins Kino gehen. Whoops. Except I have darf. Ich darf ins Kino gehen. I'm allowed to go to the movies. Ich darf in Kino. I'm allowed to to the movies. I don't need to say gayen because it'll be easily understood by the listener. So that's the modal verb. Six of the nine verbs that don't form the regular pattern of verb endings. And that'll be it for today.